Hi guys, this is BMW Chris W. Today we're doing a video review of the 2018 BMW X3. This will be a complete video, in-depth review of the new X3. We'll be taking it out for a drive. I'll be showing the interior and exterior features of this new vehicle. So here we are. This is the new color, Photonic Blue Metallic. This particular X3, as a matter of fact, is the M40i, which is the performance version of this vehicle. A couple of key features are those are your M40i rims. Get silver mirror caps. This is a frozen silver accents all the way around the car. So for example, the kidney grills now is a frozen silver. Frozen silver over there. Those are our new LEDs as well. As we're going on to the mirror, you see that frozen silver. This being the M40i, it has bigger brakes on it. It has the M Sport brakes. Some M badging there as well. Here's a shot of it from the back. Very, very sharp looking car. Those are your new LED lights at the back. 3D shaped. That's your M rear bumper there. So let me show you how 3D these lights are. You can see that there's lines everywhere. It's a 3D headlight. The lines, they all connect each other. You see that line there from the trunk connects there. It goes down the character line, down the whole side of the car. Very, very good attention to detail, especially up here. We're looking at the roof. The roof has some nice lines and indents in it too, carrying over. Black exhaust tips. This is a very important car for BMW. It just came out. Here's some more shots of it from the side here. Rear privacy glass is included now. Some more frozen accents there. These are your new adaptive LED headlights. So as you turn the steering wheel, they actually turn in the direction that you're going, so it's much better visibility at night. What's also new is the uh, the shape of the door handles has changed. It's now a more kind of like a round kind of shape before it used to be a little more squarish. Let's have a look inside, shall we? So right now, for an X3, first time ever, you now get a full ambient lighting with the vehicle. I have it on the blue one here. This is also a brand new trim for the 2018. It's a stamped aluminum here. You can see a little bit of the ambient lighting. This is a new leather for 2018. I believe it's called a viscose leather. I'll put the correct name of it in the description below. Here we are inside the new X3. This is a new steering wheel that also just came out. So the heated steering wheel is now here. It's no longer behind the steering wheel. This one in particular is fully loaded. It has every single package possible. It has the ultimate package on it. So right here, a couple interesting things are is this button right here actually has to, is to engage in the autonomous driving mode. So for example, when I press it, here's your new digital displays by the way. So the feature's on right now. So now it's off, now it's on. And what this does is it basically, it's a self-autonomous driving mode. So what it does is, right now it's a gray because we're, we're on some uh, rough terrain here so it does not see the lanes. But if you're driving on the car, on the road and you see lanes, it'll light up green. So these marks here, the, the lane marks on the sides and the steering wheel will light up green letting you know that it sees the lanes. And it will actually provide steering for you. So the whole car will actually steer itself and to keep you in that lane. One important thing to know is, if for whatever reason it cannot pick up the lanes so for example if, if those two lanes are are gray but the steering wheel is green that means it's following the car in front of you what's also nice is you get a nice adaptive uh nice clock there and this right now is in sport mode so these are the sport displays actually so you, everything is, can be changed from here which is the driving experience control so you have your comfort sport echo pro and adaptive mode we'll get into that in just a little in a minute Here's what the displays look like in comfort mode. So I'll, I'll cycle between the modes so you can see the different 
displays which is new for 2018 so this is comfort mode this is sport mode you can see the rpms and speed if i go to echo mode you have the nice blue dials here okay we'll show you your charge levels there on the right as your it's because the vehicle has coasting technology so once you are driving and you have an echo pro mode on the highway if you take your foot off the gas the rpms drop all the way and it charges the battery that battery then charges the electronics what's new and improved is the adaptive mode which is right here so what happens in, in adaptive mode is the car uses this radar sensors as well as the navigation input to essentially recognize what um, what direction you're going and driver input it monitors all this information it will actually automatically cycle you between the modes so if you wanted to drive fast you would no longer have to adjust from comfort to sport it would actually do it for you automatically so for example if you're driving around a turn and you give it a little bit of gas and you, and the car will know right away what you're trying to do so it will actually tighten up the steering wheel and put it in a sport mode for you here's the iDrive for 2018 let me go to the home screen there you have the tile base system here which is very very nice okay it is also a touch screen so you can rearrange the tiles how you'd want it and the touch screen is instantaneous you know there's there's no lag you don't have to sit there or wait it goes automatically it's very fast very fast there's no lag it's the fastest responding infotainment system in the business right now give some redesigned climate control uh, climates here right this one being the ultimate package actually what's offered now for the first time is cooled seats in the BMW X3 so you have your heated seats here and your cooled seats there driver and front passenger which is really really nice okay also for 2018 you have a beautiful stitch dash here this is a leatherette material. It carries all the way over onto the driver's side here. Very, very nice. That's the spot for the heads-up display. So, for example, if I zoom in a little bit and focus that, there is your heads-up display right there. So, heads-up display will show you their kilometers. It will show you your, your speed limit information in this car being the, uh, so it's over there on the right, that white square there. It will also show you, remember I turned on and off the autonomous driving. If I set my cruise control, it will tell you my cruise control speed, my setting. Uh, it will tell me the forward collision warning if there's a car in front. It will light up there, turn my turn, navigation. It will also show me my, my radio controls on there as well. So um, right now what's actually happening is um, I'm changing my radio from right here on the steering wheel. So I'm going, I'm cycling between the up and down on this and changing the mode. So watch, let me just focus that back in there for you. So if I go right back to the head of display here, okay, I can see all the uh, all the stations here. This is satellite radio right now. I can switch it. I can go to to AM, FM, and it's quite impressive. All all the channels are right here. This is something BMW's been doing for a while now. It's the most advanced head-up display in the business. One other interesting thing is if I go to my calls, it will show my calls here. So I just all I did there was I pressed the uh, the phone button right here, and it displayed my all my calls on the head-up display. Also, what's available now is the adaptive cruise. So it will actually paired with the autonomous driving. It's a great, great feature. The car essentially drives itself, but you do have to keep your hands on the wheel because if you take your hands off the wheel, then it will alert you. It will go up yellow, and it will make sure that you have to put your hand on the wheel. And then after about a minute or two, it will go red. And what's ha and it's, what's going to happen is it's no longer going to do the steering for you, and you actually actually take control back of the car. And you can adjust your adaptive cruise control setting from right here. So you would first set your speed. So you'd first turn it on here, set your speed and then you can change the distance and it will essentially read the car that's in front of you and what's going to happen is it's going to maintain that distance and you can also use that while you're using the autonomous driving mode which is here's a little bit of the uh, cup holders here right in storage that's your wireless charging pad right there decent side cup holders what's also interesting is the adaptive lighting you can see a little bit of the blue light reflection from here yeah, the blue light also is in the footwells as well carried over onto the back as well as the rear foot wells as well it will also light up blue it's easier to see at night onwards onto the iDrive it'll tell you your radio controls here 
your phone, navigation, vehicle settings and input. For example, here's where you can actually change that uh, interior lighting, the ambient lighting. For example, you can change the color. You can do a green, you can do a blue. So I'll show you all the colors there. See, now it just changed over to a nice green. You can do a purple. See, it carries over to the foot wells there, onto the whole side. You can do, for example, with, with the white contour, so it will be white and purple. So the top part will be white, bottom part will be purple. You can do, so you can essentially do bronze, orange, white, blue, green, and purple. I personally like the blue one the best. Also, you can adjust the color, the brightness of it if you think it's too dark. It actually does dim down, you can see it, right? That's max right there. You can also have it dim for night driving if you find it too distracting at night. Also with the iDrive is the connected drive feature. You can change your weather, news here, for example. I can actually see my weather now for the next uh, next few days in, in the area that we're located in. The weather will always show what the location of where your car is at. So that's where it's gonna pull the weather info from. A lot of people tend to ask, what is this button right here in the middle that's lit up green here? This is actually to activate your safety features. For example, you have all your safety features can be all on or you can choose them or, or if you want them all off. So in individual, you can adjust what the safety features you want on. So essentially what it is, is the cars now, it's very, very advanced for safety. So you can have a, a pedestrian warning there, a front of collision warning. You can adjust actually how you'd want it. Some people, if they want it early or late, if they find it annoying that it goes off too much, you can set it so it goes late. Lane departure warning. Okay, it will tell you if you're lane departure. And it, now it actually has steering intervention as well. So it will actually kind of keep you in your lane and unless you use the turn signals. So if you're veering off your lane, it does not just vibrate the steering wheel like how it did in the other BMWs, but now it actually, it can keep you in your lane and it'll actually keep you inside the lane. So it will actually provide steering input. It will actually steer the car to keep you in your lane a little bit. It, it's assisted, so it's not fully. If you do steer, you can steer off the road if, if you purposely try. And if you don't like that feature, of course, you may always turn that steering intervention off. Your blind spot detection, you can choose if you want it early, medium, late, or if you just want it completely off. So everything is all controlled there. If I go back into this here, there was a couple more things you could sh show there. Steering intervention for blind spot, so if it, if it knows you're in, someone's in your blind spot, and if, uh, if you start veering off, it will actually steer you back away from that car which is also part of the side collision warning if someone's off to the side there it'll actually steer your car for you to avoid an accident if someone's coming up too close beside you there so it's a lot of very very advanced very high quality features here a lot of innovation next let's talk about some of the, the parking technologies here so you have three buttons here this bottom one is actually the hill descent control so when you have it activated and you're going up and down hills you'll apply the braking force forces for you so that you can it's easier to handle for the brakes sorry it's easier to control the car so it applies the brakes there this camera button here is just going to show your camera at the front there okay so I can see that there this bottom button here is for the for the, the actual other other cameras around the whole car okay so you see here here's what the camera looks like I have the wheel turned right now so it shows the direction of where I'm turning and it shows the top down view as well now what's absolutely fantastic, fantastic is we're gonna get into the uh, gesture controls. Now what I'd like to show you next is the gesture controls and how that works. There's a sensor up here in the, uh, in the top part where basically I can do a hand movement and it'll go around the car. So if I just show you like this as a demonstration, I can go like this and I can actually pan around the whole car and it's very, very responsive, see? I can actually see around my whole car just like this, the whole area right around my whole car. Absolutely fantastic. You have to make sure you get the gesture right. So you basically put your hand out like that, go like this, and it works every single time. Sometimes it might go back and forth, right? If I go like this, so you want to make sure you go like that so it doesn't pick up the movement again. You see it kind of picked it up there. There you go. This is a, the one motion. It takes a little bit of practice, but once you get used to it, it's a really, really cool feature to show off. Other uh, features as well is for gesture control, you can do the uh, the volume. 
So you point your finger and you move, you move your whole forearm. So you go like this. Right? Turn the volume higher or lower. I just have the music off just for copyright purposes. But you can see that it actually does In affect the, the volume there. If you go to gestures, you can actually have a function assignment. So you can actually have a custom assignment. So that's the gesture right there. That you can have to do different things that you'd want to do. A common one that I like using is mute and unmute. You can always do guidance to home address. And these are your options that you can use. So basically, you can assign that gesture to any one of those functions. So as I'll demonstrate, you simply go like this. It mutes the entertainment. Go like that, it unmutes it. I just had the volume down a little bit, so let me put that back up. Okay, mute, unmute. Fantastic. You can also accept or reject calls. So if you want to accept the call, you just point forward. It accepts the call, or you go like this, and it rejects the call. So there's six different... Um, gestures that you can do so it's the one you can do two three four five and then six those are the six gestures that are available with the new iDrive which is carried over from the 5 series and the 7 series and now available in the electronic parking brake as well as an auto hold feature what the auto hold feature does is when you're driving the car and you come to a complete stop it holds the brake for you this is not to be confused with the engine auto stop where it shuts the engine off that is the standard feature now but that one will hold the brake for you the engine auto stop feature is located right here just below the start stop button so this one is the engine auto stop feature so you turn that off and then it will remember your previous setting and it will no longer turn the engine off when you come to a complete stop which is a different feature than the auto hold feature down here another interesting item is the new lights that are here it's a very very bright light with a very cool shape on it so at night they look really really beautiful almost like some wings let's have a look in the back of the car you have the uh, sunshades that are now available as well some nice stitching going across here. There's the LED ambient lighting there. Paired with a new trim. It looks very, very beautiful. Nice stitching. The fit and finish is excellent. The gaps, the stitching is all fantastic. And there's a lot of room back here now. This is where I have it sit where I drive. I'm about 5'8", and there's plenty of room back there. You can have a little bit of a idea here so I'm five foot eight and I have uh, quite a lot of room out here this is about how much room I have just sitting normally here and now in the back you have the rear heated seats here as well rear air vents all right there's a little bit of that ambient lighting which looks very very beautiful rear center console storage here Also, what you can do is the seats, you can now have them recline a little bit. So I can show you what that looks like. There's some storage there as well for cup holders, and even those are lit up as well, you see? You have some lights in there now. So the foot wells and the cup holders there are lit up as well. There's a button right here. It's a manual release where you can actually recline the seats. So right now you can actually seal it with the different settings there. That one's reclined a little bit up, this one's reclined a little bit back. And you can change that through this button here. See, I just pushed it and, uh, and, it, and the seat just moved forward a little bit. So you can hold that and you can push the seat back and you can have it reclined how you'd want it. Trunk space is quite roomy. I'll show you that next. It's a power tailgate here. You can get a pretty good idea of the space back here. You have some nets. You have additional storage down here as well with the hydraulic there. Okay, those are just some mats there and my dealer parade there, but you can see you have a extra storage down there in the bottom if you need it. Also, what's very interesting is they even included now a space for your uh, cargo if you wanted to hide your cargo. And if, or if you didn't need it, you have a place to put it instead of just having it somewhere in the middle there. Just clicks right back in, quite a lot of room. power tailgate here as well so you press that and it closes also in the M40i you have a nice really cool aluminum design there for, for the gas pedal the brake pedal and the footrest there and of course you would have 
the M40i badge on the side seat. Underneath the hood here, we have the B58 engine, which is the M Performance version of it. Really cool design there. It was recently introduced a couple of years ago. This car has 355 horsepower, 369 pound-feet of torque. You can go 0 to 60 in 4.6 seconds or 0 to 100 in 4.6 seconds, 100 kilometers an hour. So next we're going to take the new X3 out for a test drive and see how it handles. It does a very good job of absorbing the bumps in the sense that it's still comfortable, but it's still very sporty. We gotta roll the window down for this next thing. We have some tunnels up here. Exhaust. I don't think there's very many uh, SUVs out there that sound quite like that. Even though BMW calls them SAVs for sport activity vehicles. Very, very quiet, very comfortable on the highway. If I go ahead and put it in comfort mode here, the car balances itself out and uh, wow, that's quite, uh, quite a comfortable cruise and I'm go I just put on the, uh, the mode for the, for the steering. So watch this, my hands are off the, off the wheel right now and the car is actually steering itself right now. It's crazy, it's telling me to put my, wheel, my hands back on the wheel now. But this is the coolest thing ever. It actually steers for, for, for you. You can even go ahead and put on the uh, adaptive cruise instead of speed. So now it's, it's adaptive cruise, seeing the car in front, and it's keeping that, maintaining that distance. It's actually steering for me as well. It says yellow now, because I've put my hands back on the wheel. I actually gotta get off here, but Wow, that's a really cool feature. I'd love to show you that feature. You really got to see that feature. If you're interested in getting this car, definitely consider getting the uh, Driver Assistance Plus package, I believe it's called, which includes the Adaptive Cruise and the uh, the Driving Assistant Plus, I believe it's called, which is the steering that, that steers the car for you. So, with the new X3, you also get the paddle shifters as well, which is what I've been using to drive around, shifting like that. Yeah, what a great handling car, really. I mean, for, for like an SUV to handle this way, it's unbelievable. It's just so enjoyable. It literally feels like you're driving a sports car. And now, for one of my favorite features. Here's the key right here. If I press the unlock button, watch what happens. You get a beautiful welcome light right here at the bottom, painted on the, on the uh, concrete here, on the floor which is absolutely fantastic every time you unlock the car. So when you walk up to your car, you can see this beautiful, beautiful lighting here. Now it's starting to fade away, All right? If I lock it, unlock it, 
There you go right there, it's on both sides. Let me show you, there's your LEDs. There it is there. Beautiful, beautiful feature. So once again, this was BMW Chris W. That was a review of the 2018 BMW X3. Beautiful car, it's a very important car in BMW's lineup. I do work for a dealership as well called Performance BMW here in St. Catharines, Ontario. If you live in the GTA and are thinking about getting a BMW, feel free to reach out to me. You can check out my website, send me an inquiry. If you have any questions or about the car, you can reach out to me anytime and I'm available. So once again, this was BMW Chris W and thanks for watching. Oh man, we got some stop and go traffic now. It's going to be quite a while just to get on this high. There's probably like eight cars up there. One time I was in Toronto for to see the showcase of the new X7. And what happened was you can book an appointment to go test drive whatever car you want. So I booked to go test drive an M760 Li because we don't really get too many of those cars over there. And uh, I was late for my appointment, probably about two hours, just stuck in the Toronto traffic. And um, long story short, because I was late for my appointment, I couldn't take the M760, so I said, okay, that's fine. Give me a, give me the 440, I'll take the 440 coupe. And uh, that was the longest test drive I've ever had in my entire life. That was a one hour test drive, stop and go, never got out of second gear. Seriously, it was just like, put in sport, sport plus, you give it a little bit of gas, you shift to second gear, and it's like, oh, you gotta slow down now. Because this is like, you know, people walking and traffic and all that kind of stuff, and it's just, there's just no opportunity to really drive the car. So, for all you viewers out there in the GTA, so you're aware, we have we offer what's called an exclusive uh, BMW Experience test drive. We have our own uh, designated route, and it's a pretty quick route as well. You can actually feel the cars and uh, and actually enjoy the test drive, right? It's, you know, there's, there's, there's no traffic involved. You know, there's a lot of service roads. There's a lot of twists and turns. It's a really cool route, and uh, if, you're, if you are in the GTA and you are considering uh, getting a car, I would highly recommend just coming to our dealership just to try out the, uh, the BMW Experience test drive, and I can, I can most certainly take you as well. I am one of the sales reps over there. Five o'clock traffic. Here we go.